Guys, first fish of the morning. About two and a half, three pound. Caught him on this top water frog. Good morning, everybody. This is Grady with Where Are Outdoorsman. I am at Sand Hollow State Park in Southern Utah today, trying to catch some bass. I actually came here early this morning, and it was a little too early for me to film an intro. It was kind of dark. I came here at six o'clock. Sun wasn't up yet. I did catch a few nice fish this morning. I got a short clip of a nice bass I caught on a frog, which I'll put in here so you can see it. Um, what I'm gonna do now, it's probably around, I think, 10.30. Sun's up, it's just gonna get super hot here in a minute. So I just parked in the shade, get my uh, lunch in, and then also get my rigs ready. There's a dam on this side of the lake. I'm gonna go into a little bit deeper water just because of how hot it is. And also, there's construction going on across the way. So they're taking a lot of water out of the lake. So the water level is extremely low. All the cattails where I was fishing this morning are out of the water, they're not underwater anymore. So a lot of the fish are starting to move to deeper water. So I'm gonna move over here into this deeper end of the lake closer to the dam and see if I can't pull any bass up off the bottom, doing some jigs, maybe throwing some frogs into the shade. So stick with me and we'll see what we can get. I put on sunblock like me, I'm quite tasty and I burn really easy. Make sure when you put on your sunblock, you keep it off of your hands. Just spray up to your wrist, cover your wrist somehow. I always just close the palm of my hand, kind of tuck my thumb in there. That way when I spray on my sunblock, I keep it out of the palm of my hand. That way when I'm rigging all my baits, my baits don't smell like sunblock. If you have sunblock on your hands when you start rigging your baits, and then you get down there and the fish get a, you know how they start to taste your bait, they're going to get a taste of that sunblock and they're going to spit it right out and you're, you're going to lose a lot of fish. So just make sure you keep that sunblock off of your hands and off your equipment too. Stand away from your tackle box, stand away from your fishing rods and keep it off of all your stuff. It's only a Thursday morning though, so it's not too busy today. But if you come here on the weekends, it gets pretty bad. You can already see the waves are coming up pretty good, but there's some rocks sticking out of the water over here, some big boulders. I'm gonna set you guys up and see if I can't pull a fish off these boulders. It's the middle of the day now, probably around 12 o'clock. It's hot. And these fish are looking for cool areas with shade. Up underneath these big boulders. It's a good area, you see those two boulders, so. We're gonna try it out. My jig is stuck in the rocks. So I'm gonna go swim and go get it. Let me come back. Whatever it takes.
Hey guys, I just put the camera down, I'm sorry. Just pulled him out of the rocks. Nice two pounder. Orange Senko, five inch. Not an open, not a wide gap hook. Just a regular straight hook. Wacky rig, never fails. Beautiful fish.